Hey, Mike Baxter for Outdoor Man, here to talk about scare tactics. Sadly, they work. I'm just enjoying some mixed nuts. Oh. <laughs> you see, the part of the brain that triggers fear works faster than the part that controls reason. For some people, little kids who are afraid of the dark, and certain son-in-laws are afraid of, well, just about everything. <laughs> the reason part of the brain never really kicks in. As a contrast, animals don't have reason. That's why the stupid coyote always ends up in mid-air holding that stick of dynamite. <laughs> And that's why my dog panics. Every time the doorbell rings, he goes nuts. And I tried to explain to him, listen, burglars don't ring the doorbell. And just get that look from the dog. <laughs> Human beings are blessed with reason, but it's harder to use it when the media bombards you with terrifying images. Tsunamis, plane crashes, the new Colonel Sanders. <laughs> that's why I'm declaring Outdoor Man a fear-free zone, because we don't sell fear. We sell courage, we sell engagement between man and nature in the form of kayaks, climbing gear, and on sale this month, casting rods. You see, the world is kind of the opposite of Hillary Clinton. It actually gets less scary the better you know it. <laughs> I'll leave you with a quote. Fearless is not the absence of fear. Fearless is living in spite of those things that scare you to death. Now, what great philosopher said that? Aristotle? Schopenhauer? Descartes? No, it, it was Taylor Swift. <laughs> if that ain't scary, I don't know what is.